Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to Sarin Yonite. Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to Clockwork Seal. Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to Danimals. Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to H4 Nerky. Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to Toastline. Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to Anyo Mai. Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to Pakoff Gum. Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to Immortal. Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to McMantis. Dan Sabman gifted a tier 1 sub to Mordunsky. Hello! I'm still a cat. I forgot. Hi, how's it going? <coughs> it's time for Peglin! Thank you very much for the 10 gift subs, Dan. Very much appreciated. And, uh... Huge apologies to uh, the stream starting so late. I was awake, I was aware, I was conscious, I was ready. I was in the middle of a game of Commander, and it was a really fun game of Commander, to be fair. But, uh, I will try to avoid that in the future. But yes, hi! Hope everyone's been having a good day. I've heard good things about Peglin. I've not played it myself, and it has been a hot minute since I played Peggle at all. Uh, but run-based Peggle seems pretty cool. I've been playing so much, so many run-based games recently after... After the ass stream, I, I've still been playing 20 Minutes Till Dawn, and uh, Brotato, and Soulstone Survivors, and I've been playing Vampire Survivors on my, uh, on my phone, so... I'm deep in the hole on this kind of game. Seen Rev play it and it seems pretty cool. I have seen moments of Lawyer Dog playing it when I pass by his room. But I do not actually know, like, anything about the game. I haven't been actively avoiding it, but I, uh, did not... I, I know very little about it, so... Let's go ahead... And... Switch over? Question mark? Yeah. Or let's at least switch the music over because the title screen music for Peglin is quite good. It's groovy. New game. Peglin. Peglin is a jack of all trades with access to almost all orbs and relics. Flexibility and adaptability are the keys to Peglin's victory. More classes coming soon. Okie dokie. Would you like a boost? Pocket Sand! When an enemy hits you with a melee attack, apply Blind 10 to that enemy. Blind X enemies have an X percent chance to miss when attacking. Okay. Spiral Slayer. Start each battle with one Muscircle. 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 Muscircle X grants all orbs plus X plus O. Strange Brew, activated uh, with R or exclamation mark, contribute to damage. 
activated pegs of specific types, I guess? Holy cow. Cool donation for MTG winners. Thank you very, very much for the $58.20, Badger. That is too much money that has been thrown at me so far the stream. I haven't even played the game yet, but very much appreciated. That, uh, that cats and dog deck was... was rough. And almost took me out. Aha! Got there. Alright. Top secret hint numbers in this game are low, so one is a notable number. So... We'll go with Strange Brew. I got a stone. No special effects. Two peg, four exclamation mark peg. Oh, it starts there? Weird. Okay. Oh my god, the music is so good. There's a slime. I got a dag orb. Very weak regular attack. Massive damage on crit. Alright, well, let's chuck it like that. Oh, okay, so it does two damage for those pegs and four for the other kinds of pegs. Neat! Oh my god! Ouch! Let's... Howdy, Dura! Whoop! Oh, I reset the pegs? Critical hits! No! Well, still got him. Swear this game had a tutorial. I may have accidentally skipped the tutorial because I accidentally clicked play while setting things up. Stone. Orbalisk. Oh yeah, don't, don't, try to avoid too much backseating. This is my first time playing the game. Uh, plus one, plus two for each stone in your deck. My deck? I guess you could call it that. Attack all enemies in targeted column. Oh, okay, so the enemies stack up on top of each other. All right. Reorbanizer. Uh, level one. Shuffle, exclamation mark, and R every six pegs hit up to ten times. Shuffle them when this orb is discarded. Ball Lightning zaps an additional regular peg every bounce, can target any enemy, and critical hits attack all enemies in targeted column. What do you want it to be if not deck plus one plus two for each ball in your sack? Maybe. Oh, I can upgrade an orb that I already have? Alright, um... I mean, yeah, Orbalisk does seem like a a good orb to to get right out the gate, but it kind of seems like I want to get rid of some of my stones over time. So it's not like the long game kind of pick. Depends on the kind of run you want to have. I am slightly more excited by Ball Lightning. Getting stone is the big play here. I'm getting the ball. Get on the ball! With new OxyClean detergent! Oh, I can just... I can, like, finish playing Peggle a little bit more. Oh, wait, no. There's fire. Is that good? Choose your path. Oh, I, I will let fate decide. Ooh. 
Oh shit. Going to the right. Oh, nice. This way has multiple question marks. I love question marks. Oh, it's got these kinds of pegs too? Nice. Uh... Whoop! Whoa! Oh my god, the crits. Kaboom! Kapow! Okay, so I can select which enemy specifically I want to go for. So let's go this way. Because then I get the bomb! Yeah. So... Oh, that just exploded everything. And a little bit of the next guy. I found a ball lightning. These orbs can pop additional pegs with a chain lightning. They can also attack any enemy you target on the screen. You target an To target an enemy, click on them. You see a targeting running will appear. Ball lightning is one of the easiest ways to deal with pesky ranged enemies. Alright. Oh my goodness. Kaboom! Kapow! Leave luck to heaven. Oh, the R is a reset. Got it. The dagger does very little damage, but it's incredibly strong on a critical hit. So the yellow orbs are critical hits. Got it. If you don't think you can hit a yellow peg, you can discard the dagger by using the garbage. Like, I can hit a critical hit. For sure. I got, like, no shmoney out of it, though. There's a button to speed up the game in the options. Ah, okay. Oh, no, it also fast forward down there. Got it. Meme orb. Deals an additional 0.34 damage for each peg hit this battle. Can hit any enemy. Can only be used once per battle. Attack pierces an enemy. Lighter than other orbs. Detonates bombs in one hit. Destroys armor in one hit. Deals self-damage when fired. Warb hammer is dense and has overflow, which causes excess damage to carry over to the next enemy. Ooh... I like Overflow. Yeah, Sphere is pretty good. Infern Orb. Uh, I'm I'm big on the Warb Warb Hammer. And then I've I've got two Mystery Zones coming up, so I think I will hold on to the rest of my money in case some of those events utilize money no I wanted the other coin a boing These sound effects sound like the break the targets sound effects from from melee. Yeah, it isn't just another fight, but Oh, it could have been something else. Got it. Nice. Big crits. Oh, I should have targeted the big slime in the back there. That's fine. No! 
it didn't hit the crit, the crit there. Come on. And I am not hitting these bombs at all. Golly. Uh, okay, this is just a rock. Nope. Nice. No! Oh my goodness. It's bad as fast as fuck. a good bit of damage. Yeah. Reloading. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. Math is my passion. Uh, Swashbucklorb. Money collected from hits contribute an additional 1x damage. That seems good. Extra bouncy. That also seems good. Deals no damage, heals you for each peg hit, permanently removed after used. I don't need that right now. Ah. Uh, the Warb Hammer, the Rub Orb, and the Swashbucklorb also se all seem pretty good. The swashbuckle orb seems a little awkward because I really would want to get that, like, right away. But when it works, it seems like it would be pretty good. Oh, right, the warp hammer is dense, so that's why it falls heavier. All right. Uh, let's get Rub Orb. That seems fun. Oh, I can upgrade. What does upgrading do? So that one just increases the raw numbers. This one adds an additional effect. Destroy armor in one hit. Can target enemy... Critical hit, attacks, attack all enemies in targeted column. Zaps up to two additional pegs each bounce. Okay. Um... Hmm. At low crucible, everything has good uses. Okay. Let's upgrade. Mm, let's upgrade the ball of lightning because that gives, like, I think the up the utility upgrade is pretty pretty substantial from the looks of it. Oh, you take damage from that. Okay. Good to know. Oh, okay. You reach a clearing with a strange amount of crows circling above. You don't think much of it until they start to drop stones on you. Oh, wow. Get grackled. Yeah, for real. I don't want three stones. I want to get rid of my stones. I'm getting out of here. I will take the damage. You sprint through the clearing as the stones rain down on you. You take a few knocks, but at least you don't have to lug around any extra stones. Too bad you didn't get the, that orbalisk. I don't know if I would have taken it anyway. Alright. I want to see what a boss fight is like. And I'll never know. <laughs> I 
You encounter a, a weathered old peglin flipping a poker chip through their nimble fingers. Do you consider yourself a gambler? Minus two HP or relic, always gamble. You lose the flip. The other peglin's eyes gleam with mischief as you feel a little weaker. Wanna flip again? Yeah. You lose the flip. Wanna flip again? Yeah. Feel a little weaker. Care to flip again? I do. All right. Uh, one more. Okay. Uh. Orb issue. <laughs> Orb injured. I got treasure though. Refreshes the board on every reload. Flying enemies are attacked horizontally, allowing for improved targeting. Oh. That seems pretty good. Reloads are when you run out of orbs and have to redraw your deck. Yeah, I figured. Uh, give me the grabby hand. That seems pretty cool. To the mystery zone. In the woods, you find a clearing with a strange tree directly in the center. There's a nook in the trunk with brambles twisting wildly out of it. Reach into the nook, shake the tree, or continue. Shake it. You shake the tree with all your might, and from somewhere high in the boughs, an egg shakes loose. You're able to save it by catching it in your satchel. What does the egg do? Heals you for each peg hit permanently breaks when hitting something solid on the pegboard. Huh. Interesting. Leave luck to heaven. Enemies don't get their extra turns for your first reload. Ooh! Increases your max health. Yeah. I would like lower downside for doing a thing that I'm probably going to do. I got a shop. Oh, I can remove an orb. Yeah. Get that stone out of here. Reduce self damage from orbs. Uh, post battle healing is increased by 1% for each orb in your deck. Heal 2 every time the board is refreshed. Ooh. Stones get plus 1, plus 2. Ball lightning. Bold orb. It's big, only hits enemies on the ground, and attacks pierce all enemies. Also seems pretty good. I already know what Dag Orb does. Jack Orb Lantern. Instead of exiting the pegboard, this orb will return to the top of the pegboard one time. It can target any enemy. That's pretty neat. Crit a ball. Every attack is a crit. Convert every eight pegs hit to an exclamation mark. Doesn't activate exclamation mark when hit. Interesting. Uh-oh. I wanted that treasure chest, but it looks like it's time for combat. Egg! I thought it might, like, slide down the edge like that. It did not. Thank you for the follow, Plants Guy. Well. Unimpressive. Oh, shit. Got range battle going on. Aw, oh, come on! Yikes. Alright, well, now that I've got it opened up a little bit... Beefy tree stump fella. I am taking damage. Oh my god. Stop going down the, the left channel. 
Big time Peggle fan who heard of this game then promptly forgot about it for X years, so it's extremely interesting. Yeah, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. It is a very cool game so far. Because I also like Peggle a lot. Ah, well. We got a bomb, at least. But I am hurting. I would love to get the Warb Hammer earlier on this kind of board state. Discard orbs. It's true. He turned into a stump. But he still exists. It's not allowed. Remember, you can look at the map at any time. So true. Hey! Nose 4 bot 2. Heals you and damages targeted enemy for 1x amount healed. Deals 15 unblockable self-damage when fired. And then the self-damage increases. Spooky. Sorb. No special effects. Just an upgrade over the... The stone. Kinda like the sphere. I kinda wanna see what other upgrades we've got. So, Ball Lightning can zap even more stuff. Uh, let's upgrade the Rub Orb, I think. Alright, give me that extra cash. Alrighty. Mini boss, or elite, or what have you. Uh, yeah. Double crit! It's too bouncy to, like, roll into the cup parts. Getting some good damage in there. I mean, even the regular orbs don't roll particularly well, so. Ooh, the bomb killed the first guy. Love to see it. Unimpressive. Alright, and now, critical hit. Get the reset. Get that shmoney, waste that bomb, but still get some damage out of it. Ouch! Yeah, I don't think we're getting a crit here. No, well, we got a little bit. Could have been worse, I guess. Yeah, I think the bomb actually worked out quite well. Indeed. Refresh orb. Refresh the board every time six pegs are hit, up to ten times. Every attack is a crit. Uh, orb orbsium. Dense activates each peg twice. Can target any enemy. Interesting. Ice circle. The crit is for all damage, not just damage you get after hitting it. Ooh. Okay. Good to know. Regular attack pierces one enemy. Critical hit pierces through enemies, plural. Orb pierces first peg. Interesting. Uh, 
Remember, you can pay for heals. Uh, I have one more event. Although that that's a random event, it might. Hmm. So this random event could be another fight, in which case I will get another opportunity to pay money to heal myself. Or it could be an event, it could be a mini-boss, it could be anything. It could even be a boat. Um, I'm going with Ice Circle. Oh wait, I got a shitload of money. I could also heal. Yeah, sure, I'll be a weenie and heal. Perfected Reactant. Bombs deal an additional 15 damage. Attacks gain plus one, plus one. And bouncers contribute to damage. I assume those, like, the stone parts are bouncers. But... Power Glove seems good. Because that just all attacks deal more damage is uh, pretty hot. Yeah. Power Glove time. Uh-oh. Deals two. All right, good to know. Glad to see any of those relics. I see. You reach a clearing that's unusually slimy. You progress cautiously, but still lose your step. Three orbs fall into the slime, and you only have two hands. Which one do you let sink into the slimy abyss? No, none of them are. None of them are my my stones. Uh, I'll let Dag Orb go. You instinctively snatch up an orb in each hand, but you watch as the Dag Orbs disappears in, into the muck. What a shame. Alright, boss time. Okay, so the slime, like, doesn't bounce you, like, at all. I picked up an ice circle. These orbs pierce through the first peg they pass through, and their attacks pierce through enemies. Regular attacks will pierce through one opponent, a critical will pierce through all of them. Oh, I'm over here now. Okay. Oh, it already pierces through the jello orb things. So it also pierced through that outer rim. Yeah, good to know. Oh, that sucked. Yikes. How about this? And then we bounce over. Yeah. What happens if I shoot it like this? Interesting. One of those resets, so let's not get anywhere. Oh wait, nope. Hold up. Still not actually activate. I've been slimed. Alright, give me the reset. And shove the rub orb into the into the center there. Oh, so now I start inside. Okay. That's really clever. That's a good bit of damage, but I'm gonna need more than that. Ooh, 
that's a... That's a bad... That's a bad one. That's a dead me! Damn. I was very close to winning that fight, but I... I was not... I was not getting some favorable bounces there. Bummer. Let's try again. Grabby hand. Every reload grants two must circle. Increases your health. Uh. So if I take this and just like try to cut out every orb in my just like slim down my deck to, like, four or five orbs. Yeah, let's go with that. Seal! Set. Managing to narrowly avoid hitting that bomb. Awkward. I was really hedging my bets on hitting one of the bombs on my way down. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So we've got the sphere, which I like. Extraordinary. Weak critical damage that cannot be modified. Strange. I'll I'll go with the swashbuckle orb. I, I I like the I like the sentiment there. Now I would like to go to the right, but great. Did I make it happen? Oh! Uh, almost didn't happen. You can look at the map to see what boss you have at the end. If it's the slime again, you could prepare based on that. Right. You find another Peglin intensely surveying the area. Hello, I'm Haglin. Have we met before? I'm afraid I can't s s quite set up shop here yet, but in the meantime, I can offer you a free sample. I would love to remove an orb, please. Thank you. Ooh, new inventory, Haglin squeals while taking the stone level one off your hands. You wonder just how many orbs Haglin has collected. So that's a regular fight, but I also get to go in the direction of a treasure. Set, another reset. Ooh, girl. And then, ah, oh, it hung out a little too long. All right, come on, slide faster. No, you bitch. set up, and then I immediately put it directly into the dumpster. But, I gotta reload. This is another tag orb. 
Thought I might get that crit. Didn't. a little faster. All right. Yeah, I had the brew last time. Get a crit going. Oof. Oh, ouch. I'm getting injured. Harmed physically. It'd be cool if I could hit that bomb. I did not. These swashbucklore bounces have been dissatisfactory, to say the least. Yes! I'm a- I'm a Peggle Master! Restorb! Heal 4 when fired can only be used once per battle. I kind of like the Restorb here, because I got so hurt so early. But it's only when it's fired, but any pet, any orbs that heal, like, based on the number of hits you get, probably have some kind of drawback. Swashbuckle orb. Money collected from hits contribute an additional double damage. Tempting. What are you playing? I'm playing Peglin! It is Peggle if it were a roguelike. I'm taking the sphere. I like the sphere. Um, I'm heading in the direction of a shop. So let's save the rest of my money. What's Peggle? It's a game where you shoot an, a ball and it bounces off of a bunch of pegs and you have to try and clear as many pegs as you can. Decoy, ooh. Activate nearby, bombs activate nearby pegs when detonated, but the decoy orb synergizes really well with the dumbbell because then enemies don't get an extra turn off of my first reload. That's pretty good. So if I go to the left, then I can do a fight and then go to the shop. So let's do that. Let's earn some more money. Um. Yeah, let's let's ditch the stone and try and get as many of these cash orbs as I can while they're still readily available. Yeah, the music is pretty Crash Bandicoot, eh? This game is a tour de force of sounding like other things. Alright, alright. 
You can now stream and watch my stream without crossing the streams. Oh, you got, uh, you got some voice meter shenanigans set up. What? Morbid orb. Morbid allows orbs to activate activated pegs, I guess that symbol is. That is the morb. It's true. I think I like the the rub orb a little better. Oh wait, I'm about to go to a shop. Yeah, let's let's save my cash. Oh god, am I about to go to a shop? I might not. Uh... Let's go. I did miss out on a bunch of money, but I really wanted to make sure that I was going to the shop to make it so that I did not waste the opportunity to buy an orb. Whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage to targeted enemy equal to the number of pegs restored. That seems crazy good. Uh, that's pocket sand. All attacks get plus 0, plus 1, so that's plus 1 crit damage. I have plus 1 orb discards. Oh. So this could synergize pretty well with the plan of just, like, reload a shitload of times. Do I want to just, like, just reload as often as possible and just try to diminish the downsides of reloading in order to get massive damage boosts from the dumbbell? Or do I want the refillibuster, which is a little more consistent? Whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage to target enemy equal to the number of pegs restored. Like, that can do a shitload of damage. But this makes my damage build up a lot better. So it would probably... Mm, I don't know. I could go either way here. Thank you for following Mebbles. Um. See, here's the thing. Here's here's why I think I might take Refillibuster over uh the Ambid Extraordinary because my goal is to try and just get rid of a lot of orbs anyway. So I'm not I probably wouldn't end up discarding orbs as aggressively once I'm a little closer to that goal. While Refillibuster is just like more consistent big damage increases. I'm taking Refillibuster. We got the sphere. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Did not crack into that the way I wanted to. Okay, okay, here we go. Now we got some action, and the action's over. Ouch. Uh, well, we got a guaranteed crit right there, so let's do that. Ooh. Oh, the knocked over stump acts as cover? Whack. There we go. All 
Alright. Pretty good. Pretty good. Jack Orb Lantern. Seems kind of cool, but... Oh wait, this isn't the Rub Orb. This is the Splat Orb. Applies Rubber Slime every five pegs hit. Rubber Slime pegs are extra bouncy and are durable. Extra bouncy, you say? Seems pretty good. Uh, upgrading the sphere pierces two enemies. That makes sense. Uh, what's coming up on the map? A lot of could be anythings. Um. Mm. Durable pegs can be activated three times in one shot before they break. That's interesting. Uh, I kind of want to go with the warb hammer, I think. I liked the warb hammer last time. I just need to be a little more cognizant of how it is being used than I was. It's fine either way, but I kinda... yeah. I did want to go towards the left, I think. Got a relic, wall chicken, increases max health by 25, or powder collector, every 30 pegs hit is converted to a bomb. It needs health, I want, I want explosions. You find a waterfall just off the path. What secrets might it be hiding? Of course we gotta look behind the waterfall. All attacks have Echo 10. Echo X deals X of the previous attack damage as bonus damage. Hot damn! Seems real good! You find a hidden treasure behind the waterfall. Oh god, please go to the right. Please... Okay. You stumble upon a mysterious altar. You feel yourself pulled towards it, and as you near it, you realize you're holding out potential offerings. One orb in each hand. Offer the stone! Get that stone out of here. You go to place the stone on the altar, but it sinks right into the solid slab of stone. As your offering disappears, you feel the other hand grow warm and realize your dag orb is now level 2. Wonderful. Now we gotta fight. What did the stone do to you? Stone is mediocre. And it did the thing. Alright, here we go. The, the Warhammer down in there. Do a refresh, which will send us over here, and then it'll get stuck in the fucking hole. A, a, a bomb right there? Well, actually, a bomb right there could be pretty baller. Well, this is gonna hit the, the stump, so... Hey! It really just it wants nothing more than to go into the fucking channel off to the side and do nothing. Awkward. Let's do it like that? Yeah! No! Go back to the right, there's so many pegs over there! Fine. 
I'll take it. Swoltorb. Upgrades each peg it hits. That seems good. Looks like the ball of lightning. Ball lightning also seems pretty sweet with my like bonus damage loadout kind of thing. Like lightning ball lightning plus a flat uh damage increase. Pretty spicy. But I'm kind of into Swoltor because if it upgrades the pegs, I kind of want both. I could afford both. Because they synergize pretty well because the Swoltor upgrades a bunch of stuff and I want to try and refresh the board to proc filibuster. So I want to try and get as much stuff going with the Swoltorb and then hit all of those orbs with the ball lightning. Alright, I'm taking the, the Swoltorb. Then what does upgrading it do? Each peg deals two damage. Or an additional two damage, as it were. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, let's do that. Because this next event is just a chest. Oh god. He's going into the fire. Ouch. Oh, okay. It's taking a bit. Okay, what do we get? Reduce self-damage by 50%, or you're immune to attack damage while reloading. Yes, please. Alright, so the trick here is that the mole is protected by a very durable tree. Yikes. Send it down. No, well, that didn't work at all. Oh, hello. Well, hello there. All right. The bombs are really going to put in some work this time around. Good bit of damage to the tree there. Alright, so get the crit. Still still not getting either of those refreshes. to hit that that refresh there but bomb is good too uh toss the stone in the dumpster and then did not manage to hit that bomb oh right the swashbuckle orb can hit any target okay we got him on the ropes Do it like that. Alright, we got a bomb. Bombs. 
and not a whole lot else. But we're dealing damage. Bounce like that. Please just hit the refresh. Oh my god, please. Thank you. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Holy moly. Applies blind, sphere, swarb, swoltorb. I kind of don't want any of those over upgrading the swoltorb some more, I think. Yeah, I think I want an even better swoltorb. Get a relic. All attacks get plus two, plus two, but you have zero. You have minus one orb discards. That's awkward, but I was kind of hoping to, like, pare my deck down and try and keep it a little slimmer, anyways. Wand of Skultimate Power. Attacks deal double damage, but you deal three self damage for every 25 pegs activated. Don't like that. Constricting Chains. Orbs get plus two, plus three, but you can only aim in four directions. Huh. Orbs get plus two, plus three, while you have any negative status effect and you start with Confusion four. While confused, your aimer will spin wildly out of control. You can you only control when it's fired. That's funny. I ki I'm kind of down with Sealed Conviction and just like... Cutting out the uh, the stone and maybe the swashbuck lord. Yeah. Forest complete. I did it. The wall. Oh, we got folks with shields now. So this is... Oh, and they're... They affect some of the orbs? It's messed up. Alright. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, I can't get rid of this stone. That's, that's a thing for future me to do. Uh, go over there. Alright, we got a lip bomb. And now, toss the swashbuck orb over there to get some more schmuck. Oh, and if you- oh, okay, so if you hit any of the shield pegs, then your attack hits the shield instead. Interesting mechanics. Alright, so let's hit that. That is not as good as I hoped it would be. Oh my god. Pitiful. I don't know what I was expecting there. I got rid of the first guy, at least. Alright, reload! And we're starting with a stone. Uh, how about you refresh this board? The shape of this board is... not great. A hostile board design going on here. No, come on. All right, we're hitting some of these threes. Hey, there we go, there we go. And this is on the, the sphere? That's good. 
Nice. All right, all right. Not a lot left for the swashbuckle orb to take advantage of, but we got the refresh. Take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, ball lightning is pretty good. Oh, right, the Memorb can only be used once per battle. Uh, I would really like to upgrade the Warb Hammer. So that I can break through these shields. How are you enjoying the game? I'm enjoying it quite a bit. It's very fun. So far. Alright, so there's a shop to the left, but there's a chest to the right. Interesting. Go shopping? I kind of want to go to the right, because that's just guaranteed three chests. Because it's not like I don't have stuff to do with my money. So, taking this route, I can spend more money on the post-battle effects. Yeah, let's let's try and head to the right. And let's upgrade an orb. Attacks deal full damage to enemy shields. It's also pretty good. Yeah. What's your favorite orb so far? Uh, I like the the orb that upgrades pegs, and I like the rubber orb. I think those are my two overall favorites at the moment. Yeah, not punished for my greed. Oh my god. What is this? What do you do? Alright. Oh, I see. That's why you, you fellas have so much health. That's neat. Oh, ouch. Not defeating the enemy. It's bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, alright. It's not quite... Oh wait, it is enough, because I already dealt some damage to it. Yeah! Shock Absorber. Plus one, plus one for each bomb and cherry bomb detonated this battle. That's... that seems strong. But my deck is already pretty dense right now. I'm losing out a lot of value from not being able to discard. And also I took the path that didn't have any shops. I think I'm just gonna upgrade some stuff. Swoltorb does disappear after use. Does it? No, it doesn't. I 
nope, you can you can keep rolling it. It's just the one time, like the one fight where the Swoltor like put in a lot of work. It it only showed up once because it was like at the start of my first reload, and then at the very end of my second reload, and I just didn't get to it the second time. Uh, give me the sphere. Let's upgrade the sphere a little bit. Alright, we're getting a fight regardless, so... Show me the money! It, it wasn't zero. Oh, we can activate the bomb. Hey! Oh my goodness gracious. This ball's going nuts! It's balling out! Holy cow. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah! It's fine. What? Ouch. Rude. I really want to hit that refresher. <laughs> Damn it. Ouch. No, I didn't name it good enough. No. Get the refresh guaranteed here. And that's fine. Ouch. Quit it. Jeez. Alright, alright. Still getting pestered by this little fella. Maybe I should pay more attention to my aiming. Ah, oh. bummer. Well, I gotta have the rub orb, right? The rub orb is so good, but my deck is already so big for what I want to be doing. Shame. I want to go to the right. Great. I... I... I'm annoyed. You're walking down a hall when a pack of brick slimes start to smash down around you. They seem to be pretty careless, and you think you could trick them into smashing themselves to bits, or you could try to fight them at a distance. I do not want three stones. Moving orbs. This is this is crazy. Ooh. Whoa. Hat hates stones. I do. It's true. Yes. No, it didn't hit the bomb. I, I need to be hitting some of these bombs, though. Alright, this damage is going to go through, so that's going to be quite... Oh, yeah! That's what you like to see. What? Oh, that's not what you like to see. It's fine. Oh, you could buy pre-upgraded orbs. Interesting. Uh, I 
guess I'll upgrade the Dag Orb since it's already been upgraded a little bit. A little bit of extra money. What could have been? All that cool shit over there. Oh, it's one of these. I didn't notice the mirror. The moving or the moving pegs does give it like give these orbs a lot more lifetime because it bounces them upwards because of the momentum. Ooh. Oh! Aww. It's fine. <laughs> Orbla Orblation can target any enemy, deals six unblockable self damage when fired, but it's a 7 Eleven. This game is not more luck than skill. You the, the the orbs follow like physics. You can generally plan out what your orb is gonna do if you really know how the physics works. Swoltorb, another? It's kind of tempting. Have nothing but Swoltorbs. Tempting. Um... Do I want the Swoltorb? Yeah, sure. I'll take another. I'll take a swirl, swirl orb. Uh, next up is a chest, and then a fight, and then a chest. Oh, I could take this path to go to the shop. So, like, what I want to do here is ba ba ba. And then down this way. So that will take me through a fight before I spend money. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll do it like this. God damn it. No! Stop! I'm gonna die! What do we got? Hey! And we're back in business, boys! Give me the... the discard, please? Uh, yeah, I'll discard that. Wow! How unimpressive. I was hoping you wouldn't, Doomsby. I figured somebody would, but I was hoping... I was hoping not. Oh boy. You got a beef stack going on around here. Hey! Nice. Oh! Look at that damage. Don't go immediately back into the hole. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. They combine? They sure do. Kazam.
Put it in the dumpster. Oh, come on. That's fine. That's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Dang it. All right. Well, now that I've got a discard again... I'm down for getting the rub orb, but I am heading towards a shop, so I think I might actually just... Well, let's upgrade the, the other swolt orb, and then we'll just carry on. So I want to go... it doesn't matter. I don't want to go in the hole in the middle. What do we got? Wall bounces contribute to damage. Amogus amulet. Sorry, ambiguous amulet. Uh, sure. I like that more than going out of my way for crits. Oh, if I had gone full left, I would have gotten a mini boss, a shop, and... I think, uh... Oh wait, it would have been an extra fight. Maybe safer this way. Ooh, ooh. Nice, nice. Pretty good. Ouch. How did that how did that not hit the bomb at all? The fuck was that? Ballwark, Ballwark is armor that protects HP. Damage will be taken, will reduce Ballwark, and will only damage HP if the damage is greater than Ballwark. Okay. I'm, I'm getting hurt here. This is, this is a dangerous situation I've found myself in. Come on! They're so good at ex avoiding exactly the bombs. Alright, we got a bomb hit. And that's... there... does not go... oh wait, there goes the battle. Okay. Bramball. A prize applies Bramble 2 on hit. Brambles deal 6 damage per Bramble level to passing enemies. Deals two self damage when fired. Ball lightning, infern orb, orbalisk. Yeah, no. Yeah, bramble looks pretty good, but dealing self damage when fired is bad. And as much as I hate to do it, I think I need to heal a little bit before I <laughs> before I continue. I am quite injured. Puppet! Prevent the first time you would lose health each battle. Orbs receive plus one, plus two for every following connected orb of the same type. Oh, Hero's Backpack. It's, it's, it's Backpack Hero. It's the backpack from Backpack Hero. Except it's got a, an orb on it. Ooh! Activated crits also refresh the board. I really like that. Yeah, let's get that. The sock puppet is great, but refreshing the board on uh, crits is real good because I deal extra damage when I refresh the board. All right, I got 83 bucks. What do we got? Battles start with an extra five coin orbs. Detonate bombs in one hit. That's, I like that. 
Refreshes the board on reload. Uh, I don't think I need that many more sources of refresh. I'm down for either the extra money or uh, bombs detonate in one hit. I kind of want bombs detonate in one hit. Yeah, I think we'll do bombs detonate in one hit and finally remove the stone. And now we're up against the wall. Yeah, that's a wall, all right. 7,000 HP, huh? Golly. Rewarded for my, uh, my bomb upgrade. Holy cow. What, what, what was that? Why did you vor that dude? I don't like that. some good damage. Kaboom! Uh, I think I would rather get the Soul Torp going and spend a turn that I might not get a crit on. Yeah. Classic wall with a face. Yep. Here we go, here's what we were looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, look at all those threes. Oh my god. It's everything I ever dreamed of. I don't need the pierce, so let's just reload and see what happens. All right. I want that refresh. I want a refresh. Doesn't have to be that one. I didn't get it. There we go. Uh, oh wait, the Swashbuck Lorb keeps its damage from the cash orbs, right? Or the cash pegs. I should have discarded it. That was foolish of me. Alrighty. All the refreshes are pretty buried here, which is not amazing for me. Ooh, that was a good one. Hey, let's go. 18 on that peg towards the top. Six twelve. Alright, reload's a little scary here. Try and dig out one of these refreshes over here. Oh, damn it. Oh my god.
Oh wait, no. This one does spec- Yeah, I don't think the Swashbuckle Orb is actually gonna do a whole lot here. Alright, here we go. Here's the killing blow. Probably, hopefully. Oh, and we got another refresh. Although the fact that it kind of just hung out over there in the corner and not getting any of these nines going, a little scary, but not too worried. There we go, that's it. And there goes the battle. Achievement unlocked all in all. Morbid Orb synergizes with the, the, what you call it, the Swolt Orbs pretty well. I like that. Yeah. And upgrading it just increases the numbers. The Smoshbuck Lorb, I don't love, but I can just discard it pretty easily. If I'm not drawing it early. I don't know, I, I kind of feel like Swashbuckle Orb might be an orb that I just get rid of. You know what? No upgrades. Let's... let's save the money. Randomly adds two orbs to your deck, then randomly upgrades orbs four times. Pegs and bombs become weak magnets, and... Refreshes become strong magnets. Effect is full strength for four seconds and gradually decreases over the next eight. That's pretty cool. Can no longer gain money from from money pegs, but your current shot's total damage is dealt to the targeted enemy for every two money you collect. Kinetic Meteorite. Every three pegs hit provides explosive force until the board is refreshed. Yeah, like, Kinetic Meteorite would be a little more uh, attractive if I didn't have the thing that gives uh, crit pegs uh, the refresh effect. I think we want Electro Pegnet. Castle complete. We got loss there as the boss. Oh my god. I, I see the gimmick. It's a maze. Uh... Let's discard that so that we can get more stuff going with the Swolt Orbs. Oh, okay. So the black holes suck my orbs. Good to know. Don't particularly want you. Let's do the... Oh my god. I thought I was gonna hit one of the bombs, but I guess not. Fifty two, pretty good. All right, got there. How much more money am I going to get? Woo! Thank you. Cobana orb. 
Creates a money orb every nine hits, but cannot activate money or money pegs, rather. Uh Mystery Events Orbsium. Orbsium is pretty cool because being able like activates each peg three times. So activating the like super pegs that the Swolt Orbs have buffed up a lot would be like crazy blowouts. But extra shmoney. No, I, I I like Orbsium. Activates each peg four times. Densest. I see. Oh, you just get to retry if it goes into the black hole? Oh, this is sick. Give me the cash. Ah. I got a cool bounce there, though. Mirror, huh? Okay. Well, we're starting out the way that we wanna. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure. Necrorb Mancer can only hit dead pegs and bombs. Dead pegs are refreshed back to regular pegs, can target any enemy, upgrades each peg it hits. Interesting. It's neat. I don't love it. Because I've got so many ways to refresh the board. Uh, Restorb. Eh. Level 2 Ball Lightning. Ah. Actually, ah. Hmm. I think I'll just hold on to my cash right now. Oh, wait. Uh, well, I don't think I would have had a ton of control over which path I was taking there anyways. Oh! Bad Cheese deals 20 x times the number of reloads to all enemies when reloading. Oh. That's really good. Super Boots heal one for every peg hit while successfully navigating after battle. Take no damage from missed navigation. The fact that Bad Cheese hits all enemies is pretty sweet. Like, Super Boots, also something I would like. But let's go for the cheese. Alright. Um, let's try and go to the right. At immediately using cheese tactics. Sometimes you gotta. Oh my god, why are both of my swole torbs at the very bottom? I'm I'm digging. Oh, oh, 
lot of stuff happened. Good chunk of damage. All right. And now we start building up the damage on all of the pegs. That's how the sequencing is supposed to work. No! The black hole! Alright, whatever. No, not whatever! Ah. Ouch. Rub orb! I love to rub orb. Uh, what do we got coming up? We got a mystery. Let's upgrade the rub orb. Or let's not upgrade the rub orb. Let's purchase the rub orb. Let's upgrade the the multi orb. Uh, which way am I going? I want to go to the right. So I'm not well. Okay, it's fine. Just, just go in the hole. <laughs> I got so scared when it bounced over to the left. What do we got? You catch a glimpse of the ethereal peglet. It appears to have some kind of echo of its former self. Or yourself? I'll upgrade an orb. Sure. Uh, give me the bounce. The echo imbues you with the re its remaining power before fading away. Oh, oh, that's cool. Uh, bombs activate nearby pegs when detonated. Refreshes the board on reload. Both of these are pretty good. I think I want the refresh shield a little bit more. They're both they're both good. Alright, I just wanna keep hanging right, I think. Bonus shop. Unicorn horn? Your aim <laughs> Oh great. Actual peggle reference. Your aimer is longer and displays an additional bounce. Every gold collected during navigation is worth four. Damn. Orb and relic battle rewards contain an additional reward to choose from. Now that... Bob Orb! Convert every eight pegs to bombs. Oh, these are good. Later, Ash. Thanks for hanging out. I want to do three things, and I can afford one. I want the Bob Orb. I want the Eye of Turtle. And I want to remove an orb. I'd really like to remove the, a swa the swash Swashbuckle Orb. I think that is doing the least for me, but... The fact that I can just discard it makes one of these two a little more a little more appealing. I think Bob Orb can like pop off like crazy. 
I think the Bob Orb has a lot of potential, but it's only five coins less? Oh wait, it deals zero damage. Oh, that's what's up. Okay, never mind. I'm sure it's still good, but it dealing zero damage does make it less appealing. Damn, right side is popping off. I'm just gonna go all in on right side, hopefully. Well... The decision was made for me. I am not going in the direction that I wanted to go. Cool. Attacks gain plus one plus oh for every crit or peg on the board. That's pretty good. Yeah, sure. I don't want to go to the shop, I've got no fucking money! I guess I'll go to the left. This is so- this is- that's really frustrating. I really wanted to go to the right, everything cool was happening over there. The walls of the corridor appear to be tearing, revealing worlds that look very similar to your own. The tears grow larger and larger as you progress, revealing countless monsters. Near the end of the corridor, you see a forest boss through a peglin-sized tear. Yeah! Let's go fight a boss! I'm so much cooler and stronger than I once was. Nice. <laughs> Get that damage in there. nice. Oh my god. Annihilated. All orb nothing. Deal weak regular damage that cannot be modified. Deal massive damage on crits. Refresh the board every time six pegs are hit. Up to ten times. Eh, I think I want the swolt orb over that. I'll take another swolt orb. Pegs have a 7% chance to refresh into bombs. Love it. Attacks gain minus one, plus one for every crit on the board. Don't love it. Prevent the first time you would take lethal damage. That's pretty good. When you would gain max health, increase the amount gained by one. Oh, Sash of Focus. Prevent the first time you would take lethal damage. Focus Sash. I get it. Uh, yeah, give me the Alchemist Cookbook. Falador pilled. <laughs> Noob crutch? Harsh. As you're running your hand through the cor down the corridor wall, you discover the entrance to a small passageway. Enter the passageway, myster mystery navigation? I mean, the next fight is just going to be... Uh, oh, the next thing is just going to be a regular fight. Sure. Take me somewhere else. Hey! Nice. You encountered a weather, a weathered old peglin flipping a poker chip through their nimble fingers. All right, I'm gonna go down to 80. Lose the flip. Lose the flip. Lose the flip. Lose the flip. I'm out of here. You find a waterfall. What secrets might it be hiding? There's nothing. And when you emerge, there's a strong monster! That's okay. Assuming that I still get the relic reward for the strong monster fight. Cherry bombs, huh? The fact that they're red makes me think that they are bad for me. Uh. Okay. And we got a tall gerblin. Ooh. 
Uh, this is the rubble room. So it could end up anywhere. Yeah, just, just do your thing, rubble orb. Alright. Just turn into a bomb randomly. Love it. Love, love the gumption. Whoa! Kaboom! Oh no, he's getting strong. Yep, the cherry bombs hurt me. All right. Ouch. Ouch. Oh god, don't don't go to the cherry bombs. Don't do it. All right. Got him. Bold orb is pretty cool. Oh, Omega orb downgrades pegs it hits, but it has overflow and high base damage. I am unimpressed. Uh, so there's not another shop that I can see. So let's spend some money. Every reload gains plus one balance. Ball lance. Grants all orbs plus X plus X. That's pretty good. Deal double damage when your health is below 25%. Projectile attacks pierce an additional enemy. Uh, yeah, let's let's get more more bonuses from reloads. Don't be taller than Hat, or he just kills you. He he attacked first. Oh god, oh god, this is going to hurt me so badly. Uh, I think I would like the spear here. Is that just gonna kill all of them? Sure did. Oh wait, there's oh there's there's more. There's bonus goblins. I'm getting hurt so bad by these cherry bombs. They're harming me quite severely. Okay. Last one. So just... Well, I hit one extra bomb, but I didn't take a ton of extra damage. I do need to heal. We do got a boss coming up here, and I am hurting. Poltorb Geist passes through regular pegs while traveling upwards. Oh, okay, I see. Attacks all enemies. Ooh. Ghost build is open. I, I Poltorb Geist is pretty cool. I'm going to save some money, though. I, I will do my best to restore the honor of the doghouse here. 
The walls of the section of the tunnel are, are, are reflective and fragmented like a shattered mirror. You catch glimpses of various peglins holding out their various orbs that are just beyond your grasp. Or are they? Randomly remove half your orbs. Or gain a random orb. Ugh. Am I feeling lucky? So, the main orbs that I would be really upset about losing are the Swolt orbs. I think every other orb is okay to be gone. I would not be super torn up about losing most of these orbs. Like, I'd be fine losing the Swashbuckle Orb at this point, the Warb Hammer, the Dag Orb. I'm fine losing, like, any of those. Best case scenario, your deck is maybe a little better. Worst case scenario, you lose it all. Yeah. I could lose all three Swolt Orbs because how many do I have? I have ten. I'm losing five. Like, three choose, like... What, what's the permutation of this? Like, the chances of five choices choosing three options out of a selection of ten. The chance of losing all three of them is not high. But the chance of losing two of them? is, like, way higher than I would like. On average, this, <laughs> this kills you in real life. Yeah, it's not a permutation operator. 7 divided by 10 to the power of 5. Yeah, I... I uh, I'll take an orb. You grab for the nearest orb as it shifts and, ch shifts and changes before your eyes. The mirrors gl grow dull as you retrieve it, but the mirror orb continues to shift mysteriously. The boss is lost. Oh. What the fuck is the mirror orb? I don't even get to see what the mirror orb is. Is the one you just died to. Let's go for it. The fact that the, the middle of each of these cubes is like a huge cluster of bombs makes the the magnet effect so significant. So Pierce is only going to pierce two of them. So let's just go for the bouncy ball. Oh yeah, I'm probably dead here. I was quite hurt and did not gain the opportunity to heal up during the last event. Me to re remove half if you realize. Oh, well, shoulda, coulda, woulda. But it's fine, cause this throw, this, this, this ball launch is gonna win me the game. Gym. 
Well... That, that one launch did not win me the game, in fact. I feel like my my strategy was sound like for building my deck as it went onwards but uh i i think being shoved down the wrong path may have just lost the entire thing for me that that was so bad it really did a number on my entire plan for this entire zone. Well, time for another run. We've only been go going for two hours. Reduce self damage, better aim, bombs detonate in one hit. Bombs? We got the mole. If I played my cards right, I could have one-shot the final boss. Ah, well. That's game knowledge, baby. That's how it is on this bitch of an earth. fight. Achievement unlocked, it was not your time, which I assume was because I left an enemy at 1 HP. I'm still, like, really grooving to this music. I the music for this game is so good. Swoltorb! Early Swoltorb? Let's go! Another Swoltorb? For me? Oh god, please go to the left. Oh god, please. I'm begging you. I don't want- I don't want the dagger! Stop! <laughs> you bitch! <sighs> I hate this game. I hate it. <laughs> it's the worst video game I've ever played. I wanted to go to the right! I had a 2 in 3 chance of not getting the dagger and the... Son of a bitch. now Hat's lucky run of unluck. I don't know if that's how luck works, but it sure feels that way. Ah, it went a little bit, it perfectly bounced right over. All 
right, all right. Looking good. I do not have safe reloads. So let's let's do it this way. Hot damn. 192. Okay, sure. That's how I wanted it to go. There we go. That's what I needed. Another Swoltor? Let's go. All in. <gasps> Why? so rude. Uh, I would like to go to the right. Ah, I almost got that extra money. The woods grow darker and darker as you progress until you find a clearing where it's pouring rain! Embrace the lightning. As you walk into the middle of the clearing, you're struck by lightning. You shiver as the energy courses through through you, but it harmlessly congeals in your satchel in the form of a ball lightning. Nice. You find a waterfall. Check the waterfall. Attacks get plus one, plus one, baby! Let's go. Now, I would like to go to the left. I do want to fight that mini-boss. So I'm going to throw my face as far to the left as possible. There we go. Ooh, powerful slimes. Alright, getting the bombs going, let's go. Nice. Oh my god. Alright, now we got a fucking gulpin or whatever this guy is. Nice. I don't have safe reloads, so let's just fire the stone. Bad, but could have been better. All right, and now do it like that, just in case the ball gets sent over to the left somehow. Ah, oh, just barely not enough. Now, do I want another Swolt Orb? Kinda. Yeah. Alright. End up with 20 Swolt Orbs. I want, like, three. 
I don't want a million. Whenever you defeat a non-minion enemy, gain one max health. Love it. Create two shmoney whenever the board is refreshed. Like it. Exclamation marks also refresh the board. That's the way we gotta go. I know the other one, like, stacks better, but I really want that... I really want to have that effect, for sure, of refreshing the board when I've got a bunch of swole torbs going. You stumble upon a strange mirror with shadows flickering in the reflection. You're drawn closer and closer until your nose is nearly touching the glass. The shadows are speaking a language you've never heard before, but you understand their offer. What do you mean, remove all orbs? I would like to remove a stone. You embrace the infernal energy and push your stone level one through the mirror. You hope the shadows make good use of it. Uh, let's go to the right, hopefully. It's not without reward. I figured... Just chucked a rock at a mirror. Yeah. Well, I shoved it into the mirror. That's a little different. Whenever a crit is triggered, deal your orbs crit damage to all enemies. Or, whenever you heal lost health, deal three times the recovered health as damage to the targeted enemy. Uh, let's get the crit thing, because now I have, like, I can hit more crits because my crits refresh the board? Yeah. Uh, let's... Actually, let's go to the left. And that way I can hold on to my money and, like, try and get to the shop, maybe. Or do I want the shop? I'm gonna be doing two fights before I get to the shop. I kind of do want to get to the shop because I've got a bunch of stones that I still need to get rid of. Good amount of bonus damage on these pegs, though. Critical hit attacks target all enemies in target columns, so let's do this. Then. Actually, that's rad that it wasn't enough, because now I get extra money! Uh... <laughs> tempting, but no. Because I want to go to the shop. Uh, and I also want to fight the elite enemy, I think. I, I was hoping to get at least two. This fight again. Okay. Nice. nice.
dumpster this stone. Nice. And now, at the end, where you want them, is all of my swole dwarves. All three of them paired up right next to each other at the very end of my deck. I got to turn 12 and I'm drawing all my one drops. Oh my Gorb! Destroys a peg and attacks all enemies. Uh, I don't want any of that. All attacks have Echo 10. That's pretty good. Oh! All attacks have Echo 10 is baller, but Duplication Potion, when crits and refreshes move, they leave a stationary copy at their previous position. So that means there would be more crits and refreshes, which is what I want. But Echo Chamber just does so much damage. I'm taking Duplication Potion. It will make more interesting things happen on the screen, I think. Oh! Please go back to the left. Oh, you bitch. This looks like a recipe for a monster build already, yeah. I'm excited with what I've got so far. Got there! Let's go! So, refill a buster, obviously, but suffer the sling, stones get plus one, plus two, aim is longer, heal when reloading, you say? Oh, oh my. I do want to remove an orb, but heal six whenever I reload? God damn. Yeah, I'm taking that. I'm taking that over removing an orb. Uh, I don't particularly care which way I go. Later, Badrick. Thanks for hanging out, and thanks again for the absurd donation. A dark obelisk looms before you. It hums with the tantalizing power, and you can feel its connection to the earth. Oh. Get an orb, or just shove a rock into it. Here, have this cool rock. You feel slight disappointment from the obelisk for not utilizing its true potential, but it does absorb the stone. I, I mean, you could have gotten a cool orb, but if you just want to... Want to give me a rock? Okay, I guess. Zap. up some damage here in the the core and completely fucking that up. What a terrible job I did.
Alright, that's fine. Kaboom! Hey! Got there. Uh, I would like to upgrade my Swoltorbs. What do we got? Magnus become weak mag- yeah, I- ah, oh, the magnet thing is so good. All orbs get plus O plus four, but boards contain one less refresh. All orbs get morbid, but contain- but boards contain one less refresh. All orbs get morbid, you say? I think Electropegnet is still better here, but all orbs get morbid would be pretty sick. Yeah, give me the magnet. I love the magnet. It's so good. Forest complete. Got a different boss this time. Oh my! Look at that! Unimpressive. Ooh! Oh yeah! Look at that! Oh! Oh! Incredible. Oh my god, we got a 12 over there? Hell yeah. Holy cannoli. Yikes. Echo Orb attacks all enemies and has Echo 30. It's not bad. It's... Ooh, we got a shop right there. Yeah, let's save my money and go to the shop. Yeah, I, I got some cool stuff happening. Immune to attack damage while reloading. Wall bounces contribute to damage. Deal full damage to enemies with resistances. Seems pretty good. I don't really have the reload build going on. Like, the well done stake is great, incidentally. I don't need to go out of my way for that. So I'm kinda into dealing full damage to enemies with resistances here. Although, how many enemies have resistances? I don't know if that... Uh... I have turtle. Yeah, I'm not super excited about any of these relics. Well, let's get rid of my last stone. For sure. I would also be down with just getting rid of the dag orb, but... I could just save my money. Hopefully I could earn, like, another 25 coins off of this fight and then go to the other shop and get something super hot. Yeah, let's, let's try for that.
Because if I earn, like, no money off of this fight, I can go to the other path instead. Oh no, the magnet wasn't strong enough. a lot of damage. That wasn't enough damage? Now that's what I call fuck damage, volume 6. I missed one coin. What a shame. Take me back to the shop. Let's see what we get. Dumbbell, let's go. I would have really liked to see one of the effects that makes additional bombs, but... I mean, we'll take the dumbbell because our deck is already so, so streamlined. And what I could do is I could pay to remove the dag orb. I think that might be a little greedy. Activated refreshes and crits contribute to damage. Eh, it's good, but... I like the gunpowder here. I think that's got a nice upside. And from the chest... Just all attacks get plus one, plus oh, or... Activated refresh and crits contribute to damage. Sure. Let's make refresh and and crits contribute to damage. Because the other one was it's plus one non crit damage. Not plus one crit damage. I don't know if that if that works that way. Now that I think about it. Oh well. The bombs being magnets here sure is going to make make these shots behave in a way. Am I not going to get any of these fucking bombs? Come on. Oh, there's like a pixel. Gotta reduce my mouse sensitivity. Come on. Yeah, fine. Fuck it. There's a million bombs on this fucking level right now, and I'm never hitting any of them. Are you- are you... For real? 
I'm never gonna hit any of these bombs. It's never gonna happen. Dude! Thank you! Why did it end early? What happened? <laughs> I didn't even get to see how it ended. <laughs> oh, the crit effect killed them? I see. Alright, I'm not going to another shop. So, let's... Let's do an upgrade. I think Poltorb Geist is pretty sweet when it attacks all enemies. So I definitely want to go to the right. No, I don't. I don't actually. I want to go to the left. Let's see if I do! Nice! I definitely want to go to the right here. Ooh, I got my big Swoltor. Nice. Aww. You hate to see it. So how does this work? Oh. Weird. But effective. Hot damn. Really? <laughs> really? There we go. Kapow. Only hits those types of pegs, pierces through all others, can target any enemy. Eh. I will upgrade one of my swolt orbs, and that's it, I think. So now I for sure want to go to the right, and I'm not taking any risks that would jeopardize that. Later, Will. Thanks for hanging out. I guess wall bounces contribute to damage now, because I'm not getting the one that improves stones. Just fire it off and see what happens. Nice. Ah, oh, it didn't get sucked into the inner circle. It's fine, we got another shot. Ouch. I'm willing to wait. I want to get at that bomb. A bomb. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ouch. 
Ow, my ears. Hey, there we go. Shock Absorber. Plus one, plus one for each bomb or cherry bomb detonated this battle. I don't really have any extra bomb effects yet, so I think I'll hold off on that. Yep, really. Again? Come on. Dude. Dude! Not again, not again. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I'm gonna die to the fucking end of the level thing. Oh God, what is this? current setup really makes a lot of stuff happen on this board. Oh. What? Alright. Uh-huh. So that just improves the damage? Let's upgrade walls. Projectile attacks have overflow, is the over war hammer. Ring of reuse, all orbs have plus one persist. Orbs where persist X can be used X times before the next orb is drawn. Discarding this orb will skip all remaining persist levels. It'd be more tempting if I, like, if my deck weren't already, like, pretty slim. And then re refresh if, whenever an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. Uh, I'm kinda into, uh, over Warhammer here, over the other two. Because I'm already refreshing the board constantly. Give me the hammer. Oh my god. And I don't even get to heal that damage because I'm going to a chest before the boss. What a bitch. Give me, give me the eye of the turtle. Oh. I see. Kaboom. Oh my god. Oh my god! Well, now I know what this effect looks like. Aww, bummer.
bomb the guy in the back. Kersplat. don't have a safe reload, so let's, let's just chuck this out here and see what happens. It's not a kill, but not bad. I am quite hurt, though. I kind of do need to do a, a murder sooner than later here. Please hit that bomb. Please hit the bomb. Oh... Oh, right! I got the hammer! Let's go. Let's upgrade my bull. Contains one less refresh. Fewer discards. That's less of a problem here. All pegs have durable. Durable pegs can be activated three times in one shot before they break. That? Maybe. I don't want the satchel. Um. Durable seems like it could do some nonsense. Yeah, let's get let's get durable and see how that goes. Because durable seems like it would work so well, like it would synergize with the uh, the orbs that buff the pegs. Let's let's buff first. All right, we got some stuff going. I would still love to have some kind of effect that makes bombs, but this is this is pretty fun. didn't get launched completely out. What a shame. Oh my god, these pegs are up to 18. Holy cow. Now a level 3 Swoltorb. Maybe... But, no, I don't think so. Uh... I have to choose either a shop or an extra mini-boss. Or I could just go to the shop super late. Because I could go, like, ba 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 and then hang a right from there and go down this path. Or I could go to the shop earlier and take this path. I can still fight one elite and go to the shop. So sure, let's just let's just hang on to my my cash. Just be sure to actually go to the shop. I'll do my best.
All right. All right. That's fine. It's trying to get a little extra cash. Mirror time. All right. Nice. I could get a rub orb here, but I don't think I will. Okay, so I definitely want to go left, so I'm going to do that. And almost get sent into the fucking fire pit anyways. Oh my god. From seemingly nowhere, an inferno in ignites a circle around you. There are two fireballs bouncing and circling each other in the center of the ring. I do not want the fireballs. I will dash through the flames. You dash bravely through the flames. You're a little singed, but otherwise unsc unscathed. I would like to fight the mini-boss, please. What? It's dark! Well... See what happens. Fog of War Peggle, yeah. Oh my god. Going nuts. Well, it is already over, and we're just waiting to see if I get any extra money. Nice. Dealing over a thousand damage. But wait, there's more! Oh god, it could hit one of these refreshes and take another forever. But I, I'm having fun just watching it. It's like a fish tank. Oh, it's way easier to see the background and stuff on on my other monitor. It is quite dark on my main screen. Oh my god. What happens if I fast forward it? Alright. 1.5 times speed. There we go. Creates shmoney on every eighth hit. I do like money, but I don't think I need that. Heard Fish Tank while watching a peg alike. Made you think of another pop cap game in San Aquarium. Yeah, classic. Every reload increases ball ants. Bombs apply blind. Collected money contributes to damage. Uh, let's get the reload. Oh, I have no fucking control over where I'm going. I'm going to shoot it in that direction and hope I go that way. Great.
Oh wait, it's still fast forwarding. Quite bad, actually. I can't get the. I can't get to the bombs. I can't. I'm having trouble. There we go. Oh, we wanted to hit the bombs so bad. Ouch. Ooh. Oh shit. Some cool stuff was happening. I would like to heal, actually. Alright, I really want to go to the right. And I didn't. So. That's how she goes! It's still fine, because I get to fight a, a mini-boss, but... Approaching me. Whenever you lose health, deal twice that amount to enemies. What do you mean refresh pegs activate near pe Oh, wait, no. Activate as in, like, hit them. Okay, I was like, oh, yeah, of course it reactivates the pegs. That's what the refresh peg does. That's the whole point. But no. It, do it does make sense, actually. Um, bombs apply blind. Yeah. All right. I would like to go to the right. Great. You find another Peglin intensely surveying the area. Hello, I'm Haglin. If we met before, I'm afraid I haven't quite set up shop here yet, but in the meantime, I can offer you a free sample. Uh... Why don't... Let's remove the Dag Orb. Let's get it out of here. Ooh, new inventory. Blind is 1% miss chance per, per rank. Yes. Alright, let's go to the right. I said, let's go to the right, please. board will contain an additional refresh. I have an additional orb discard. Give me the refresh. 
now I would like to go right again. All right, time for cherry bombs. Yeah, huh? Too bad your swole torps don't buff the wall. Yeah, real shame. Oh shit. I was just about to set it to refresh or fast forward, but now we're cooking. <laughs> I am getting all the money. All of it. And all the cherry bombs, too. I'm, I'm getting rich and dying trying. God, don't hit that one either. Oh god. Oh my god. No. Darn it. I would like to heal, please. More fight, more fight, go! Wow, can't believe that didn't hit. my bones. Ouch. I would like to heal again. <laughs> There we go. What do we got? You find yourself looking at two identical altars, each with a perfect location to place an orb. Uh, nope. I could have duplicated an orb, but I don't need to. Pegboards start with extra bombs. Enemies don't get extra turns for your first reload. When an enemy hits you, apply blind. Attacks get plus one, plus zero oh for every crit on the board. Well, extra bombs. Enemies don't get a turn for my reload. Seems handy. That quick, do something cool. Uh, uh, um. I'm exiting the store, is that cool? 
Oh, we got a goblin boss. Alright. Do something cool. Uh... Kapow! firing from again? Up here? No dip. Hello, rat and rat folks. Thank you very much for the raid. Hope everyone had a good time over there. Hope everyone's having a good day. I am playing Peglin, which is Peggle for gamers. Aha! Uh -huh. I beat you I beat you to the joke. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Crit a ball. Uh what's my health at? Sure, we'll heal. Bully Ball! Gain extra damage every time you lose health through self-damage. Okay. Boop! Thank you for the follow, Insalius. What the fuck is this? Minesweeper? But what am I looking at? It is Minesweeper! <laughs> That's amazing! What an incredible boss design! That's so cool! What? What? What's up? Dog butt? Oh, he got me with the oldest trick in the book. Hitting the bombs is giving him power-ups. Yeah, well, it's also giving me power-ups. So, who's the real winner here? Yeah, the, the squished god Y is very squished. Ouch. Nice. Blark. Got ball ants and must circle. Didn't look like a lot happened there, but I did deal over a thousand damage. Got there! Achievement unlocked Sapper Sweeper! Mines complete Crucible, level 1 unlocked! Everyone got here just in time to see me win! Oh my goodness! Hello, Animal! Thank you very much for the raid! Hope everyone had a good stream over there! I'm currently playing Peglin! Which is, what if Peggle were a roguelike?
I've only been going for three hours. I can do another run. Oh, custom mode. Interesting. Small ball and durable is a really good combo. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, of the swole ball. Crucible. Start each run with plus one stone, and stones deal less critical damage. Oh. Move up to a harder difficulty. Tempting. Ah, oh, refillabuster is so good. Oh yeah, cookie. Heal every time the board is refreshed. Just like, get super swole, just get super tanky. Yeah, sure. Or start using damaging balls. What, you think my balls aren't good enough? My balls not good enough for you? Where's this gonna end up? Ooh, deep in it. So yeah, I, I got these balls, and I throw them at the pegs, and depending on uh, how good I do at hitting the pegs, I deal damage to monsters, and then I win. It's a quite cool game. Also, for folks who have never been here before, which it seems like, holy cow, there's a lot of you. I, I wasn't ready. Uh, for folks that have not been here before, I'm a hat, I'm a variety streamer. I'm usually a maned wolf, but today I'm a cat, because I keep forgetting to switch my PNG tuber back. Uh, currently, my ongoing games are I'm um, making my way through uh, the Bayonetta games. Uh, Yakuza 5 is on Tuesdays. And uh, Saturdays and Mondays tend to be... A, tend to have a chance of being some kind of multiplayer shenanigans. Holy cannoli. Dan Sapman gifted a tier one sub to net underscore very. Thank you very much for the five gift subs, Dan. Golly. Dan Sapman gifted a tier one sub to McFrugal. Dan Sapman gifted a tier one sub to black underscore in underscore yellow. Uh, I could take the Orbalisk. Dan Sapman gifted a tier one sub to a underscore mad underscore dragon oh, underscore. Uh... Dan Sapman gifted a tier one sub to Riachala. Goodness gracious. Sure, let's let's do a stone build. Let's see let's see how that goes. I haven't tried embracing the stone life. that emote? What? <laughs> what is Mike doing? Good lord. Heal for every 12 pegs activated during battle. Well, I'm, I'm just... I'm just unkillable. I'm the beefiest peglin you ever seen. Mike got very amused by an image of Scooby-Doo in a dress. Yeah, I... <laughs> sure seems that way. Shuffle... Crits and refreshes every six pegs hit up to ten times. Attacks uh... all enemies echo 30. Kit the squirrel. Squirrel? Yes. The the resident squirrel, the us the squirrel regular, uh, is already headed to bed for the night, but 
Happy to see more of you. I actually got it, which I kind of wasn't expecting to. Do I actually want it? Sure. See how it goes. I would like to go left. Let's find out if I do. Doesn't look like it. Woo. Aw. What a shame. I can still get to where I want to go. The woods grow darker and darker as you progress until you find a clearing where it's pouring rain. Sprint and dodge random navigation. Uh. Sure. You make it through the clearing unscathed and the weather has already improved, but which way were you going? Nice. In the woods, you find a clearing with a strange tree directly in the center. There's a nook with brambles twisting wildly out of it. Oh, right, the bramble orb. I'm not really doing the self-damaging kind of thing, but I can. Because I heal so much. Uh... Yeah, sure. You reach into the nook which has been overgrown with rampant brambles, you suffer minor scratches, and a Bram Ball level 3 is stuck to your hand. Level 3? Damn. From seemingly nowhere, an inferno ignites around you. Uh, I don't want fireballs. I'm a little singed, but otherwise unscathed. Alrighty. Mini boss time. Orbalisk. Let's. Uh. Okay. Not gonna get a crit off of that, which is a shame. At least one ball. I need like relics that in that make my stones better or something. If I'm gonna try and make this happen. I found a bramble! These orbs will apply the bramble status to an enemy. While brambled, the enemy is unable to move, and enemies that pass the stuck enemy will take damage. Inflicting bramble gives you precious time to deal damage from a distance. That is completely irrelevant for the current battle, because these enemies do not move. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Bummer. Well, I mean, I get a bomb on the field, but a little less, less impactful than I would have liked. Wait, where's the other crit? Oh, both of them are down here. Alright, here's open. Fingers crossed. Nice. Ouch. get the crit. And also I forgot to throw my rock in the dumpster. And I didn't kill it. Everything went not as well as it ought to have right there. Oh my god, please. 
Really? What? Thank you for the follow, Spout. One HP remaining. It's nonsense. I must resist the siren's call of the Swolt Orb. Ooh, upgraded for each stone and for each bold orb in your deck. So I could start replacing some of these stones with the bold orb, which is actually pretty all right. Am I going to a shop? No. Oh, I'm right here. So if I could go like this way and hit an extra elite. But I'm not going to a shop, so... Sure, let's uh, upgrade the Orbalisk. Each shot, a random slot becomes a portal that can teleport orbs to the top of the pegboard up to three times. Ooh! Big peggle energy. All orbs have persist. Oh, that... goes really well with Orbalisk. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I like the pie. The pie seems cool, but... I think if I want to try and make Orbalisk happen, this is a good way to do it. Every 30 hits is converted to a bomb. Love that. Super love that. Taking that for sure. Let's go to the Elite. Alright, it's this layout. Dumpster that one. And then we'll be dumpstering this one next turn. Ooh! Get multiple bombs going? Nice. Back in time for a fresh run. Yeah, I started this one not too long ago. <laughs> well, not exactly how I wanted that to play out. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll we'll roll with the crit here. Oh, darn it. That's fine. Because now we get the Orbalisk. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Swashbuck Lorb. Ball, lightning, swarb. Uh, let's upgrade the orbalisk again. Oh! Plus one, plus two for each orbalisk in your deck. That's really nice. So you get, you get rewarded for having a bunch of orbalisks instead of being punished for, like, having a ton of orbalisks but barely any stones. It's a clever way to design that. I would like to go to the Elite. Missing out on a lot of money, but I really want to make sure that I go to the Elite. Minotaur? Uh... Oh, it's a bull face and the horns! That's cute. Pretty good. Ah, oh, just barely missed the refresh. Ooh. All right, all right. Nice. 
Nice. Peg him, hat. I'm doing my best. Didn't do as much as I'd hoped. Not getting that bomb is rough. Ooh, ooh, he's gonna do a million damage. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, yeah. It wasn't as much as I expected, to be honest, but it's not good. It's still bad for me. There we go. What are you? Multiball? Wait. Electro Orb Mag? Isn't this a relic? No. This is an orb that is similar to the relic. Right? Where is it? No, this is the relic. No. It's, that's an orb version. Okay. I'm, I'm second guessing myself severely. I mean, if I want to go in on the the relic as a re electro pegnet, ah, I see. So if I want to go super deep on Orbalisk, I gotta go deep on Orbalisk. Multi ball seems fun, but previously thrown bombs can now be refreshed, but deal but bombs deal less damage. Pegs have a 7% chance to turn into bombs. Let's let's try and go deep on bombs. It's just Arkanoid with orbs. Not exactly. I should have gone for some money. I didn't think about it. I'm a fool. <laughs> Pegalnoid. Shattering the moon. Imagine a black hole in the center of this one. Sure seems designed for it. Oh my god, the slime is not gonna know what hit him. Slime didn't even get to experience the ultimate death that was awaiting. Um. I'll just save my money, I think. Ooh. All right, so we get a new relic. Whenever an enemy, whenever an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. Create two money whenever the board is refreshed. I'm not super deep on refreshing the board, so neither of these are like super exciting. But extra money is nice. Mole time. Get the 
bomb going. Alright, don't have a guaranteed crit here, so let's ditch the dagger and just get the Orbalisk flowing. 75? Lost to the slime once and now I'll never see- I'll never get my revenge! He's scared. The slime knows that- And the slime knows that he can't beat me! So he's not even gonna try! Ah, uh, the bramble on the tree doesn't work. He skips right past it. Rude. Ouch. Ouch. Pfft. That didn't go great. A bomb happening, I guess. Alright, what's my reload looking like? Ow. Ow! Oh, right, because I was reloading. He got a hit on me and I did not get to respond. Rude. Oh my god. This deck is not currently very good. My relics are great. The deck leaves something to be desired. Bonk. That didn't get him. Big. Only hits enemies on the ground, and attacks pierce all enemies. There might be an achievement for killing the tree, or something like that. Uh, confusion. Pegs have durable. Every shot has multi-ball, but attacks get minus two, minus two. Uh, so, every 30 pegs hit is converted to a bomb. Pegs have a random chance to turn into a bomb. Yeah, I think, I think durable pegs might be mechanically better. But I do want to see what every ball having multi-ball is like. That seems fun. Hey, there's the shop. Hey, there's the high roller. A lot of refreshes going on here. This fight would be super exciting if I hadn't... Uh, if I hadn't just gotten a full heal. Ball causes orbs to split into two when hitting peg. Oh, okay. Boulder time. 
There we go. That's what I was looking for. Give me the big balls. <laughs> I love seeing the effect of... Ah, goodbye. Bomb the boulder. Can we kill it? I was, I was excited for the bomb build, and it's working out so far. Kaboom! Nothing here does the thing that I want to do right now. Oh god, please let me go to the right. And you gave me a dollar! So kind. What I need now are more high damage orbs to make up for the multi-ball? Maybe. Gambling? I'm in! Yeah! Let's go! Weighted chip, bottom slots gain multipliers that multiply or negate your shot damage. Let's go! Gambling. Let's gamble! Oh -ho! When you first played this, you thought it was a prank and just always failed. It sure seemed that way. That was, what, attempt, like, 20-something this stream, and that's the first time I won. Oh, it's time for gambling. Oh, I'm so excited. What do we got? The board contains an additional crit. All attacks get plus one, plus oh. Uh, start each battle with plus one must circle. So, okay, double checking something here. If, if an effect gives it plus one, plus zero, does it not get any extra damage if a critical is active? Or if something has plus one, plus three, do you get plus three? That's correct. So, I would have to, like, the likelihood of me hitting a crit is pretty high. Right? Because I've got multi-ball, I've got bombs everywhere. So, the, the chances of either of these doing nothing is kinda high. Like, I want to get rid of the Dag Orb anyway. Or do I? It's five, but it's... Uh... Hmm. Hello, Ben. Like, I could get the special button. Don't really have any crit-related relics, losing hella, dam hella base damage from multi-ball. Okay, I don't have any crit-related relics, but my likelihood of hitting a crit is pretty high. That's my concern. But... Uh, is there another shop? If I take that route, which I want to, I want to go that way. But... I 
I could get the basic blade. I could get the basic blade and the special button. So, like, just mitigating the the times when I don't have enough money. Yeah, but I, I don't know if I want all of them. Uh, difficult choices. Pocket sand is actually sandy loam. Oh, shit. I kind of want to get rid of my dag orb, which is like... Seems against the point when it's like, ah, oh, I'm I'm hitting crits all the time. But I kinda want to like reduce the amount of non-orbalisk and orbalisk related stones. Blind is additive. Yeah, I figured. So you could just get an enemy up to 100 percent blindness if you're really having a bad time. Taking the special button, removing the dag orb. And do I want the must circle? No. Nope. Uh, I do want to go to the right. Crucible, Crucible 13 win was on the back of Pocket Sand. Damn. You got a sandy boy over here. Sandy B. Alright, I would like to go to the right, please. Oh god, the bombs. A bomb! Alright. It was so big that it was going to hit that top peg no matter what I did. We got big balls! Nice! I wonder if with multi ball, multi ball, if the multipliers like combine, so like half damage combined with double damage is just regular damage. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. The last ball determines the multiplier from the looks of it. Hmm. Yeah, it's unclear if the multipliers are like plus 100% or minus 50% or whatnot. No, oh, it's the Amogus again. Oh, the Brambles got blocked? What? Jerk!
Oh my god. Oh no, the brambles are there. Okay. Or at least they were that time. It kind of seems like the first one to go down is what determines the multiplier, because the the times two lit up, the times one did not. Or, I don't know. It's a little unclear. Maybe it's just the highest multiplier that you get. Oh, we got into the Amogus. Big damage. Not that big, though, because of multi-ball doing quite a number. Achievement unlocked. I said punny, not puny. Kaboom! Oh my god. There we go. Oh, Bob Orb, though. I want the Bob Orb. I've got so much cool bomb stuff going on, but... Double bomb generation? Oh shit, you're right. Maybe I'll just swerve out of... Uh... Orbalisk. <laughs> Bob Orb may be entirely on plan and exactly what you want, but you only have 152 gold. Look, this was supposed to be an Orbalisk build, but... You are, you are right. Convert every first hit to a bomb, convert every eighth hit to a bomb. Damn. Let's see how many times I go into the fire. None, actually. Wow. All right, let's see Short Fuse. Short Fuse would be pretty baller. Extra Must Circle. Post-battle healing is increased for each orb in your deck. Eh, I don't really have a... I don't care for post-battle healing. I care for in the middle of the battle healing. So let's, let's take the sword, I guess. Time for an elite. This fella, huh? I could just immediately go in on bombs. But this is my level 3 Orbalisk. This some of my highest damage that I have. <laughs> Should probably go with that. Oh! Yikes. Ouch. Oh my god. Gambling is not going my way. I love how it's dealing zero damage, but because of all of the <laughs> all of the bomb generation, it's gonna add up. The weighted chip has got awful, but it's funny. That's exactly why I took it. I thought it would be funny, and it is, <laughs> but against me, not for me. Oh, this is a bold one. Yeah, go for it. There we go.
Uh, I don't think I want a stone at this point. Every first hit and every six hits into another bomb. Seems good. Uh, I do want to go to the left because of the elite. So I do want to save my money. Pumpkin pie. Each shot a random portal becomes a portal that teleports orbs back to the top. Uh, sure. Let's let's combine the the slots at the bottom nonsense. Oh, uh oh, you bitch, you son of a. Oh, you absolute fucker. I'm quite upset. Oh, that's so bad. I'm not reloading, like, ever. The greed? What greed? I wanted to go to the left! And it flung my shit over into the rightwards direction. You look at. Ah, uh, duplicate an orb? Don't mind if I do. Oh, Hat, why didn't you duplicate your orb orbalisk? Because bombs are funny. The most frustrating part about that... that thing that just happened of me going in the wrong direction is that if I had known that I would be going the wrong way, I would have made different choices and things would probably be going better for me. Oh, these are... these fellas are a bad matchup for the bomb game. One bomb there? Damn. Alright. Bomb time. Am I really not going to hit the refresh? Any refresh? Just a refresh, please? I don't care about the times two multiplier, I just wanted to refresh the board! Uh, darn it. Get it! Yeah! All planned, baby! Let's go. The crit peg got turned into a, a bomb so it didn't count. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> the terrible secret of weighted chip is that it's not good unless you get exactly the two relics you just got. Huh! Better lucky than good. Oh yeah, we're still going, baby! Aww. Big stupid explosion at the end. It's great. I need to be digging here, I think. Yikes.
Hey, the the crits are equal, all right? I think. Oh wait, no, it's I forgot that I got the extra sword so that the crits are indeed weaker. You're right. Look, I may be stupid. Got a tough last enemy here. Does this enemy do anything? <laughs> Oh no, you're poking his eye. These enemies eat your targeting? Oh, I see. I really need short fuse. Boss time, baby! Nice. Don't want that. Time for Vor! A little worried about this one. Crits are actually equal in the bull orb. Whoa! Oh, I turned one of the permanent pegs into a bomb. Kira Queen. These shots are going to be lasting a while, I think. Let's, uh, let's speed things up. Oh my goodness. Ooh, the double! The double! I'll get two toys in my Happy Meal. The double! Oh, the double! <laughs> Beats. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Hachi Mama. It's coming, it's fine. I ain't scared. Nothing to worry about. Randomly add orbs. Orbs get bonuses, but you can only aim in four directions. No longer obtain money. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck my aiming up, boy. Let's go. I don't want to aim. I just want to throw balls. I could have made the cloak work. That's yeah. 
Oh, right. I was like, uh, I want to aim right there. Completely forgetting about the thing that I just did to myself. Nice. Oh, no, that also <laughs> happens when I'm trying to select which direction I go. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's exciting. Give me the bold orb. Upgrading the boulder. I probably should. <laughs> As if I even need it. Is there a shop? There's like no. There's one. There are two shops. Okay. I should just be more aggressively spending my money. I've got so much money. There we go. I wanted to go to the right. Could have taken the molten mantle and instantly won. Really? You think? That's true of any time you see the Molten Mantle. Is it that good? I keep forgetting to reread what its effect is, now that I know how the game works. At least a little bit more. Boy, I would love to hit one of these refreshes. That would be quite good for me to happen. There we go. Ditch that. Bomb time. <gasps> it did damage? Wow. Makes your damage go quadratic. Huh. Well, that's good. Because I would like to go right. And maybe I'll get to. Hey! Let me go right. You're walking along a section of the rail as a rumbling sound. St st You're walking along a section of rail as a rumbling sound grows to a roar behind you. You turn just in time to see a loaded minecart barreling towards you. Free stones? Oh shit! You're right. Give me the rocks. Let's go. You jump as high as you can to manage to land in the cart. You can't avoid some stones ending up in your satchel, and you have no idea where you're going. <laughs> Fucker. Yeah, I do need the extra, extra re-roll book. <laughs> Man! That's a 
a good thing my healing is so good. Do I want a bold orb? Kinda. Sure. Why, why not? I'm fine either way here, I think? If you actually get to your orbalisks, they'll do great. Yeah, see? Not, now you're thinking. What do we got? Reloads, that's never happening. All attacks get extra crit damage to make them less bad at crits. Great. Zoop. Ethereal Peglin. Uh, are there any orbs that I care about upgrading? I guess I could upgrade a stone. Sure. All attacks have Echo 10. Pegboards start with double the amount of bombs! Echo Chamber is probably the correct move. But extra bombs is funny. Yeah, fuck it. Bombs. Let's go. You can win double the amount of bombs in the first half second. Yeah, but more bombs, though. How are you going to turn down more bombs? There's a lot of bomb relics that I'm missing. <laughs> Short Fuse is the big one. Things would be different if I had a Short Fuse. Yeah, I, I have huge healing. The Cherry Bombs are not concerning at all. actually got healing this time. I have just, like, I have the cookie and I have the popping corn. Just those two is such an obscene amount of self-heal. Oh my god, the middle hole is the go back to the top hole? Ah, oh, We ran out of Rehole. Now there is a shop, but I, I I can afford to upgrade an orb. Why not? Imagine if you had durable too. That that would be some that would be some nonsense. I would love to see that. Not as though I'm hurting for, uh, for wacky hijinks happening. Change your stream title, Bomberman, yeah. I think my stream title is perfect, thank you very much. More bomb orbs! I love it!
Hey, we got out of there. What do we got? Another fight? Love to see it. Just keep on schmoving here. Don't mind if I do. We've got the good hole going. More bombs, more bombs. <laughs> it's so loud when that many go off. Relic. Some extra health. None of these do much of anything. Sure, knife's edge, I guess. Okay. Uh-huh. There we go. What you got for me, shopkeep? Activate bombs activate nearby pegs. Love it. Extra discards. Love it. Wall bounces contribute to damage. Sure. Pocket sand. Whatever. I guess. Do I want to get rid of the bram ball? I mean, it does have decent damage. Thank you for the follow, Akaborb. I, I don't want to think about it. Let's go. Bombs! You don't want to get rid of Bramble. That's less orbs. It's true. Bramble is an orb. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's just that easy. <laughs> I almost didn't see it. I started like, I, I turned my head to like stretch out my back because it was just like, ah, this ball's gonna be going for a bit. Like, uh, oh, whatever. And I turned back, <laughs> boss just dies. <laughs> Wowie zowie. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. What a game. This game rules. Uh, 
I'm, I'm a big fan of Peglin. Missed the alternate universe of that being really confused. I was close, man. Crucible level 2. I want to see what the effect of Crucible 2 is. You aimed for Orbalisk, pivoted to bombs, but the game insisted you were actually on the way to chip build. Yeah, it worked! If it works, it works. Mini boss battles can appear in question mark scenarios. That seems... That's all upside, baby. That's great. Oh, thank you for clipping that. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that right now and see how much damage I did. Uh oh, he is true, Bramble. I did 6,300 damage. <laughs> Remember thinking this is all upside when you're deeper in Crucible. Oh, I'm sure that it becomes a problem. But for now, it's great. Hype train. All right. That was a lot of fun. This game rules. I will probably play more of this at some point. Uh, I don't know if that'll be Saturday or if we might do... Uh, maybe we'll play some more Sonic Roboblast 2 Kart on Saturday, but tomorrow, Tuesday, is going to be more Yakuza 5. Thursday is going to be the, maybe the end of Bayonetta 1? Uh, and I think if Saturday is Karts, then next Monday will be more Peglin? Because Peglin is really great, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Maybe it'll be like Peglin and another one of the, uh, the run-based auto-shooter survival things that I've got going. I'll, I'll try and figure out some kind of orb emote. I have a bunch of animated emote slots that aren't being used, so some kind of animated orb would be nice to utilize the slot. And I'm just gonna leave the Peglin main music, uh, main th menu music going for the whole on screen, because it's a banger. Got the egg build. There's an egg build? Oh my god, this game is crazy. Thanks again, everyone, for showing up and hanging out and chatting and all that good stuff. Uh, hello again to all of the, the new folks from the various raids that happened tonight. Uh, very much appreciated that you all uh, swung by to check out uh, Peglin with me. My first experience in this game is so much fun, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it, either on or off stream. Probably some more, at least one more stream of this, I think, because it's great. Egg Morbid, so it could rack up points without breaking. Oh, that's so clever. All right. Notifications. Thanks again to Dan for the 10 gift subs, Badrick for the $58.20 donation, Plants Guy for the follow, Mebbles for the follow, A Salty Rat for the raid, and Salius for the follow, Anomail, Anomail, sorry, for the, uh, for the raid, Dan for the 5 gift subs, Kit the Squirrel for the follow, Spout for the follow, and Akaborb for the follow. Uh, was great seeing you all. Hope you all had a good time with, uh, with Peglin, and thanks to everybody for showing up and hanging out and chatting and all that good stuff, and hopefully I will see you all again tomorrow. Have a good evening.